Hi guys, welcome back to Everyday Apatani with Dana. So, first of all, I would like to thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching our videos, and we really appreciate your feedback and your comments. Please keep watching our videos to learn more about Apatani language. So, in today's episode, we'll learn about the common words to describe size in Apatani language. most common words used to describe size in Apatani language are atu kai. Atu which means small, kai, kai which means big. Ubyo, ubyo, tumpi. Ubyo is for long, tumpi is for short. For short, tudu is also used. So we have two words for short, tumpi and tudu. Bolio and biankar. Bolio for thin, biankar for thick. Oho, ako. Oho is for tall, ako is for short. Oho for tall, ako for short. Poro and ponchu. Poro is for broad. Ponchu is for narrow. Jantu and sensu. Jantu is for fat. Sensu is for thin. Now coming to specifics. Description of the sizes of various objects depends on their shapes. For example, for cylindrical objects like trees, it is buro and buño. Buro is for big, buño is for small. Buro for big, buño for small. For spherical objects like ball, it is puro, buño. Puro is for big, buño is for small. Puro for big. Puño for small. For long objects like ropes, it is soro soño. Soro is for big. Soño is for small. Soro for big. Soño for small. For animals, doro and dorño. Doro is for big, dorño is for small. Doro for big, dorño for small. For clothes, bero and berño. Bero is for big, berño is for small. Bero for big, berño for small. For land like agricultural field, it is Garo and Garnyo. Garo is for big and Garnyo is for small. Garo for big, Garnyo for small. For flat objects like peppers, it is Taro and Tanyo. Taro is for big, Tanyo is for small. Taro for big, tanyo for small. Thank you for watching our videos. Please keep following us. If you have any comments and any feedbacks, please let us know in the comment section. And please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 